<laughs> to be ahead, what do <laughs> companies need to be ahead and to reach the new customers' needs? Yeah, first of all, it will be important to face the challenges of the future. And after what I've heard so far in these two short keynotes, I, I was really wondering why I'm here, actually, <laughs> because you are so aware of what's coming, <laughs> what's on the agenda. Uh, that is definitely good news. <laughs> so this is how you, you have to cope with that. You have to be open-minded. You have to think out of the box. Yes. You have to see what's coming and how you can react, how you can gain speed to be fast enough to follow these changes. And that's what we, what we expect from you. Thank, Thank you. you. Social media, as of today, means that you as a company have to communicate with your customers in real time, on eye level, so to say. But this will probably no longer be fast enough. If you look at artificial intelligence, if you look at smart prognostics, what's happening in these research areas, then it will probably be that real time will no longer be fast enough. You have to predict what your customers actually want from you. You have to know in advance what they want from you. And there is an assumption that in the call center area, in 80% of all calls, you will be able to predict when the telephone rings why the customer is just calling you and what he actually wants from you. So you can make very much better propositions to the customer if things turn out like that. It's better to apologize afterwards than ask for permission in advance. So if the structures are tight in your company, if you don't have the flexibility to get things starting, if you're waiting for vision, mission, strategy, strategic arenas, investment logics to be defined, you'll never make it. Start innovation, start it fast, start it with smart little projects and address the results, hopefully the good results to your management board. This is what is meant by that. May I just ask you one thing more? You told us that in this future world, confidence, consumers' confidence will not be acquired once and for all. Yeah. Maybe this is the most important challenge for companies such as Enel and its competitors. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah, it might, might be. And uh, the good point here is something like confidence, trust, confidence. This is something that you cannot put on a digital platform. <laughs> this is still between you and me. And it has to do with uh, the basics of your marketing strategy as well. So if you're just trying to be loud and aggressive, uh, that, that won't work any longer. You have to respect your customers. <laughs> so you have to communicate on eye level. You should know their history. You should know th their circumstances of life so that it can propose adaptive services, adaptive products to them that really make a difference and that are really what they expect from you. Thank you. Thank you very much again. Thank you.